It was April 18, 2011. Marine Sergeant Josh Elliott was on a mission in Afghanistan when one wrong move nearly cost him his life. I kind of hopped down off the roof and started walking across and there was a 20 pound explosive device that had been hidden in the roof of that building. And I stepped directly on it. An emergency helicopter responded, crews put Sergeant Elliott into medically induced coma, and it was what soon followed that changed his life forever. It was like a crushing darkness. It was, there was nothing, it was completely void. And I turned and I faced a light, and I realized that I was under the throne of God. And the, the words that came across weren't heard by my ears, but more felt, and it was, it was simply, are you ready? Are you ready? I was not prepared whatsoever. And so when that came across, are you ready? I was just, no, no, I'm not ready at all. And I begged for my life. And uh, it was like that. Josh Elliott woke up in the hospital as a double amputee veteran, but he was thankful to be alive. That moment was when God gave me a second chance, when God gave me my life back and said, you know, you're mine now. After months of therapy, he was ready to try things he once loved, and snowboarding was at the top of that list, but it wasn't the same. I came off the hill about three days in a row, just in tears, just broken. That's when someone introduced him to monoskiing, and instantly Josh knew he had found a new passion. Monoskiing quickly became one of the biggest therapies for me, coming up on the mountain, getting that sense of equalization. You know, I was able to ski as fast or faster than other skiers. Before long, he met a coach from the Aspen Valley Ski and Snowboard Club who left him with just a few words that made a lasting impression. And he simply said, you could be the best. And it sparked something in me that was so profound. I said, I could be the best. This is, maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. For the last two years, Josh Elliott has been working hard, going through countless hours of training. Now he knows that even though he won't be serving in the Marines, serving and representing the United States as a skier is well within reach. I could be the best, and that's why I'm trying to get to the 2018 Paralympics in uh, Poyang, Korea, and ski for the United States. I want to bring home the gold. That's what I want to do.